The Heisler was the last member of the big three geared steam locomotives, the other two being the Climax and the Shea. The first Heisler locomotive was built in 1891 for F.A. Addington in North Carolina. They didn't make any new Heisler locomotives until 1892 when a huge group of them were starting to be built. Charles L. Heisler wanted to make improvements of the meh design of the Dunkirk locomotive. Unlike the Shea locomotive with its cylinders and drive system, along the right side of the engine, the Heisler gained its power from the middle of the locomotive's frame with its cylinders in a V configuration along with the drive shaft underneath the locomotive. This means that the Heisler locomotive could go at faster top speed than Murray the Shea or Climax. The Heisler also had less gears to break down for maintenance. Unlike the classification for Shea's and Climax's which were A, B, and C, the Heisler locomotives had a different classification. There was three numbers. The first would be to how much the locomotive weighed in tons. The second was the amount of driving axles it had. And the third was the driver diameter. For example, Pickering Lumber Company Heisler No. 5 is an 85-ton locomotive, has 12 driving wheels, and having a driver diameter of 40 inches. This means the classification for this Heisler is an, is an 85 12 40. Heisler locomotives were built from 1892 to 1941, and there was no exact number of how many locomotives were made. But as near as the records could show, there was about 625 Heislers ever built. Since these locomotives were more developed than the Shane Climax, they actually had the least number of the three types. Today, there's about 35 Heisler is still in existence, and of those 35, eight are still operational. Now let's talk about our engine here. Pickering Lumber Company number five was built in January 1913 and was a three truck Heisler locomotive. She was originally built as new for the Sugar Pine Railway in Standard, California, later sold to the Standard Lumber Company in the same city, and then finally sold to the Pickering Lumber Corporation. She would run for the Pickering Lumber Company until being sold to Cornell Bros Trucking Company in 1958 in Stockton, California for potential resale to Cuba. However, those plans never came to fruition. She would remain in storage until being sold in 1966 to the Pacific Locomotive Association. After a four-year restoration, she steamed again for the Castro Point Railway in Richmond, California. Number 5 would run until 1985 when its boiler time expired. She was stored serviceable until being moved to the Niles Canyon Railway in 2005. Today, Number 5 is still at the Niles Canyon Railway in dead storage.